All right, guys, big news today. Man, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's happened so fast. But as you guys can see, we are at the magazine and tire service center. I got a call this morning and they said that the truck is ready for pickup. Boy, oh boy, that made my heart sing right there. I hooked up with Uncle David this morning from Come On Homesteading and he took me down to the creek and guess what? Even after the days and days worth of rain, the creek is down. It was easy enough for us to cross. We got it taken care of and well, ran some errands. And here she is. Ah! Let me show you these tires. Ooh, old Bessie looking so sexy. Look at them dirt commanders, y'all. I know you done seen them already, but boy, oh boy, look at that tread. Look at that tread. Oh yeah. She's looking good, guys. Looking good. Now it's the hard part. It's time to go in here and pay for this stuff. One more time. Thank you so much, Uncle David, for hooking us up. I know you didn't have to go out of your way to do that, but you love us. Hey, there's one of our main men right there, brother. Hey, we appreciate it. That's one of the heavy mechanics here, but here, here's the man of the hour. These guys right here have been so good to us. Thank you guys so, so much. We uh, we really do appreciate all the work and uh, and love you guys have shown our way. So we, we really appreciate it. Remember guys, you need any work done over here in this area, right here at uh, Old Magazine Tire and Service Center. This is where you need to go. Man, that was pretty awesome. I'm, uh, I'm super excited. I won't even lie guys, they hooked us up here so much. Right now, I'm going to check the oil because there is still a huge oil leak on Old Bessie and they have identified the problem. They said that we are leaking on the passenger side valve cover gasket and we already knew that. But here's the big thing. He said 99% of the problem is coming from the oil filter housing. So underneath, it's all bright and shiny, but it's all still kind of oily. For now, we're going to go ahead and pop the hood, get some oil in her, check it, make sure she's good to go, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I can't say enough nice things about Mr. Johnny and his crew up here. They even topped me off on oil. Appreciate it, guys. All right, you can actually, <laughs> you can look right here and it's a night and day difference. Look how shiny and everything this side is compared to the dirtiness of that side. So much oil leaking right here. It's insane. But I tell you what, Let's go ahead and uh, check out and see some of this stuff down here. Woohoo! Oh yeah. Look at that. All those new shiny pieces. Oh man. They really. He said this thing drives like a Cadillac now, guys. Look at all those new parts. Man, everything. I tell you what, I'm not one who knows much about vehicles or too many uh, mechanical scenarios and words and phrases and stuff like that. But that front end sure does look nice and I can't wait to jump in it and feel old Bretzy driving down the road with no squeaking and no bumping and everything like that. I wanna say first and foremost, one more time, Dana, Biddy Boo Homestead, Biddy Boo Brown, thank you so much for your gift. I don't want you to ever think one negative thing about this. You are a saint and an angel. We love you so much, dear. You gave us an awesome gift, and so what if there needs to be a dollar put in or two? You are absolutely amazing, and don't you ever forget it. We're gonna get back on our own, guys. We'll see you. Time to go, time to go, time to go right now. Click, 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 clack. Woo! Man, I'll say this. The ride home has been amazing. It's so much quieter. 
no squeaking and beaking and bumping and all this other stuff it sounds great let's check out uh check out the creek right here oh uncle david stopped Woo! the creek is not as angry as it was earlier i'm actually walking you guys can get an idea how high it is maybe i won't get engulfed i don't know getting close Woo! well it's it's pretty deep but i bet this is about the deepest spot right here and uh oh yeah it's oh, a it's a river dance oh that river dance oh that river dance <laughs> all right guys let's bring old bessie back over to creek time to get back to Dreamer's Landing, girl. Nice, real nice. She came right across the creek, no problems. Uncle David was right here to make sure everything went smoothly, and it did. Well, we're gonna go up here to Come On Mountain. I'm gonna help him unload some things that he picked up from town today. And I'm gonna head on back to the house, show Alyssa what's happening. We got some huge news coming up here wait till we get back i picked something up from the post office david moffitt thank you so much you guys check this out yep he just made it up the hill last time i attempted this hill i couldn't make it up oh yeah Before I even turned the corner, I heard Eclipse. I mean, I heard uh, Chanel. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, we made it back to the mountain. Let's unload this stuff, and I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit. Well, now that we got everything unloaded up and come on mountain, we're headed on back down to the house. We're gonna see if the truck can make it down the driveway because, well, it is a muddy, muddy mess. So here we go. Welcome back to Drifter's Lane. Let's go assess the situation. So this is earlier when Uncle David came to pick me up. Really, really rooted up this stuff, guys. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do we, do we need any shale? Shale! Mm. Yeah, this is bad. It was just so wet, guys. It's just so wet. It does uh, slope down right here a little bit before it gets before it gets back all over there. I think what I'm gonna do is come up and stay away from the road and try to come through here. I'll try to stay on this hard and then get back up into here. And this is where it's gonna be tricky. Very tricky. Look at that, man mud bogs once again i'm gonna stay over here to the left there's a lot more shale over here to the left but it's gonna be wicked i know that man that's a rut look at this man it's like a foot deep rut well you see what we got let's see if we can get through it hey i got an idea let's set the camera up outside the truck so you can see me go through it
at this point it's a thinker dang man if i just had four wheel drive it wouldn't even be an issue i'd have made it all the way out look how close it was to the once again to the hard road but uh i tell you what the mother tires wouldn't have made it it just wouldn't have made it it wouldn't have even have got this far look at that we got some gripper though we got some grippers man i even tried to stay as close to the tree as possible it didn't work i don't think there's no coming back now i think we're pretty much there i didn't know maybe staying on this side might have been a little bit better i don't know let's see what we can do think am i making any progress okay guys i am officially stuck like chuck this road is so bad as i was saying earlier uncle david got stuck almost coming out of here and he was in four wheel drive so now we know what parts of the road really need some more focus and a little bit more love old bessie you are stuck and it's not because the tires aren't good them are good brand new grippity grip grips but uh well them dark commanders just are not enough for all this muckety mud to be continued. Yep. Good morning. Uh, we're out here this morning. And Lissa, what do you think about the situation we're in a muddy situation a muddy mucky situation you guys seen it yesterday i tried to get home and well it didn't work out gave uncle d a call and he says well if you need an uber you know what app to use <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get the chain hooked up uncle david's gonna turn the tractor around we're gonna pull uber uh backwards and uh or turn it around she'll pull out frontwards we'll pull old betsy out backwards and uh, guys, I want to say one thing before we get started right here concerning old Betsy and, uh, and, and, and our lovely, lovely family member, Dana. Ms. We love you, Dana. Ms. Dana, I have, uh, I have read a few comments that was very, very unkind to you. And I want you to know, two people have already been removed and blocked from Drifting Dreamers 5 and with Dreaming with Drifters. And if anybody else has anything negative to say, about our friend Biddy Boo, you will be blocked and removed. I love you, babe. So let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Let's get her done. having fun playing in it. <laughs> you're right guys, I have four kids. <laughs> Actually six if you're including the dogs. <laughs> Michael's showing butt crack. 
<laughs> Better than what I thought he was going to do. <laughs> about a muddy mess. Look at that road. Yeah. Trust me, if you don't laugh with this one, you'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael, pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip from old Uncle Jeanette. Especially you. Keep that chain in the back of your truck. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about I give you your chain back and get my own chain to keep in the back of your That's never gonna happen. <laughs> never. <laughs> Just keep the chain in the back of the truck because here in the last couple of days you've slid down a mountain. Yeah, you've almost busted your butt sliding down the mountain. Um, I did bust my butt. Yeah, busted his butt sliding down the mountain. Um, your whole front end was ripped all up to pieces. Yep, um, no suspension. Uh, your tires were bald, and uh, you got stuck in your driveway. Dang, six things in three days? Yeah. Well, <laughs> really two days. One day it was a rain day. One day was a rain day. So, so. six things three times a day? Man, yeah. That's a good average. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> And he rides off into the sunset. Well, he rides off into the mist. <laughs> into the mist. That's right. That's our friend Lindsay. <laughs> into the mist. Go check her out if you haven't. <laughs> well, guys, we are going to go ahead and get old Betsy here, parked in a little dry area. I think right there would probably be a good spot. I think so. All right. Let's go ahead and get her parked, guys. <laughs> Stuck on. 
spinning out right there. Come on, old Betsy. Put a piece of wood or something under it. <laughs> and here I was thinking that this might be a good spot to park. My love. I love you every day. <sighs> and I love you. <laughs> oh me, oh my. Well, good job. <laughs> I got out. I didn't have to call Uncle David back. I do got something to show you guys. I showed um, I showed you guys yesterday on Dreaming with Drifters, but this is gonna be the first time we're showing you guys on Drifting Dreamers 5. Guess what came in? You already know. Let's check it out. Woo! Hey guys, look at these tracks in the mud. Dang. Holy smokes. Look at that. Look how deep that is. Watch. <laughs> yep. Well, we already knew more work was needed. Yep. And that's probably will never be an ending deal anyways, rock. Yeah, well, it's maintenance. Oh, don't go you down. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, it's, it's maintenance, just like anybody else, just like a lot of you guys have to do maintenance on your driveways, your rock, you know, you have storms that come by and have to wash stuff up. Well, we got a long driveway to maintenance. <laughs> Which look, we love. Is, look, this is- this We is, love our long driveway. I love this driveway. And look, and look at these ruts where Uncle David almost got stuck yesterday, guys. It's not like it's just my fault. I'm up here, baby. Oh. <laughs> right here, look. Look at those ruts. That's Uncle David almost got stuck yesterday. All right, guys, we decided to come on in here in the shells. In the shells. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to show you a couple of packages that we have received and some big, big news that we are ready to finally unveil all the details about. And I'm talking about these shirts right here. <laughs> Right? Look at these shirts, guys. These are our very first shirts that we now have available for sale. Drifting Dreamers 5, very first shirt, and it's the Drifter Down shirt, guys. Check us out. There it is. And uh, you can see right here, that is me standing on top of the truck when I was getting washed away in the creek. And uh, well, that was the very first time I ever said it. Drifter Down! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I would like to say that the price for this particular shirt right here is going to be uh, all kid sizes and youth sizes are going to be $20. Um, the adult sizes, uh, small, medium, large, and extra large are also going to be $20. I think. Let me double check that. <laughs> um, but once they go up from sizes from extra large, the price does increase quite a bit. Um, the XL or the 2XL, the 3XL, and the 4XLs are all $25. Um, I am hoping to one day be able to bring the price down a little bit uh, on those. But for now, those are going to be the pricing for the Drifter Down t-shirts. Um, again, the kids, all the kids shirts, small, medium, uh, and large are going to be $20. Uh, adult sizes, small through extra large, are also going to be $20. Um, once you get to 2XL, 3XL, and the 4XLs, those are all going to be uh, $25. And that's going to be per t-shirt. Also, we now have the Drifter Down coffee cups available. <laughs> yes! Check out these coffee cups if you haven't seen them yet. I have one. 
Oh, man. Well, that's rather unfortunate. We did just uh, receive our case of mugs, and some of them are broken. Oh, no. It looks like quite a few of them are broken, actually. All right. Oof. Off rip. Rest in peace. Mm. Rest in pieces. Oh, looks like, uh, dang, man. Another oh, one. man. Two of them down. Well, that's as far as I'm going to go right now. <laughs> I, I don't want to have some survivors. I don't want to look at any that are broken right now. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> oh, and this one's chipped. Hmm. We're going to call it chip. <laughs> I like it. This is chip. <laughs> Speaking of names, guys, and calling things names. Hmm. We got a name for this guy behind us. It's official. The members have voted. The official name for Talon's creation is Weldon. Weldon. Woo! <laughs> so keep an eye out in videos for him. He might be hanging around in the background. So guys, here is the Drifter Down coffee cup. And it's going to be the same design uh, on the coffee cup as it is that's on the t-shirt. And these are made by uh, Midline Graphics. So guys, you can buy your very own Drifter Down coffee cup. Uh, at the moment, the coffee cups are a little bit more expensive for this time being. Um, it is approximately seven or eight dollars at the moment for me to ship this coffee cup. And when the pricing of the coffee uh, cup shipping comes down, we will be able to lower the pricing a little bit. Um, but as of right now, these coffee cups are starting off at $17. So for you guys, if you are interested in ordering any merchandise from DD5, either the Drifter Down shirt or the Drifter Down coffee cup for now, you can send us an email at DriftingDreamers5. You can tell us if you would like a shirt or if you would like a coffee cup. And you can... You can tell us if you would like a shirt, if you would like a coffee cup, what size shirt you want, and the quantity of those shirts. Now, there are some of you that have already sent some emails, and I got you down on the list for that, so that will be coming. Um, as of right now, the only way uh, for us to be able to accept payment for the any of our merchandise is either going to be Cash App, PayPal, or you guys could send uh, a check or uh, a certified... Uh, mail a uh, money order or something like that and you can send those items to the post office our p.o box uh, is always located in the description of all of our videos so you guys can find that now <laughs> woohoo merchandise available uh eventually we will have a uh, a store or like a web page where you guys will be able to view different color shirts uh different different color mugs different kinds of merchandise but this is what we have available um, also, a little bit about the shirts. These are not like the iron-on, press-on. This material right here is printed right into it. This is a really, really nice shirt. It's really soft. Um, and it's like a, the color is like a silvery gray color. It's not, a, it's not dingy by any means, guys. But with this type of color and material, it's easy for the white to really print off of it. I think it's amazing. We really appreciate it, David. Yes, you did an awesome job. Thank you. Um, speaking of David Moffat, he also sent us something else, and uh, we really appreciate this. Let me show you guys what this is. This is amazing. What do you? How do you feel about this? The light. Yeah. It's awesome. Dude. I love it. So, I believe this is like a laser, like a laser cut or a laser printer, and it's printed on a a piece of glass here. Let me see if you guys can see it. Yeah, you see it? It looks like the Shouse. And then on the top it says Drifting Dreamers 5. And there's also a little light stand down here that goes with it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It looks so cool, guys. So it's going to go on the stand. This is going to go on it like so. There we go. 
and then it plugs in and then you'll be able to see it. Check that out, and it changes colors. Yeah, it's really nice. That is so, so awesome. Thank you so much, David Moffat. Yes, thank you. It's going right by our computer, <laughs> our little desk area. Yeah, I want I just wanted to put it right here and I'll show you guys a little up close. I don't know, let's see, I wanna be able to, oh, there it's, oh, look, okay. It started flashing on, on our end, and you can see it says Drifting Dreamers 5. Oh, you see it flashing? So every time it changes colors, I can see it flash on this end. That's so cool. So cool! <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go through this box and find out how many survivors we have. <laughs> uh, I know this happened all during shipping. Um, whenever your guys's, whenever your cups get mailed to you, We'll make sure that uh, some good bubble wrap gets put around it and uh, we'll do our best for them not to arrive broken. <sighs> Anything else you would like to add, my queen? Don't forget about Lissa's Crafty Meditation. If you haven't checked that out, mm -hmm. go give it a look. Uh, you might like it, might find some peace. For any of our new subscribers or new viewers out there who hadn't heard of Lissa's Crafty Meditation, what is that channel about? It's about meditation. Yeah. <laughs> it's about crafting and how we can, while we're crafting, we can use it as a form of meditation. Yeah. And we also look at other ways that we can tap into the meditative state. Nice. Um, one more thing before we go, guys. Don't forget that we have started a second channel with each other. Uh, it is our vlog channel where we are going to be talking on a Monday through Friday, everyday basis to bring you guys the behind the scenes, spilling some beans, the sneak peeks and the previews, you know, daily, daily life, daily vlogging coming to you guys. And uh, we have already gotten 3,500 subscribers. It's amazing. Uh, thank you guys yeah. so much, so much. Um, I would like to say that yesterday's video had 17,000 views, I think, or like 15,000 views. Oh, wow. 15,000 views, but only 3,500 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. When you're watching the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, our channel is called Dreaming with Drifters. We'll put that link right here. <laughs> <laughs> And it will also be in the description box as well. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We are about to get to start working. I'm going to turn the camera around and give you guys just a glimpse of what it looks like. Bam! She's getting all cleaned up, ready to go. We're about to start putting in outlets, running wire, and then some insomolation. Yeah. <laughs> We love you guys. We're going to catch you on the next one. Don't forget, dreaming with drifters, everyday vlogs, keep you guys up to date. Yeah. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We love you guys. And remember, if you can dream it, you can drift it. Bye. Bye, guys. Don't give up, guys. You fall down, brush off, brush yourself off, shake it off, and keep going. Guess what? It doesn't even matter how many times you fall down. The drifter may go down another hundred thousand times. What really matters is how many times you get back up. That's right. <laughs>